This is creamed pork yeah. liver. Looks like, oh! a, looks like a ejecting it's out of foreskin. Ah! <laughs> have a little more. Have a little nibble. Oh. Processed liver paste. Oh! <laughs> it's like meat toothpaste. Oh, oh yeah. Yep. Oh, throw it like that. Do it, Please. Brown. Oh. 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 <laughs> Would you do a gram and a half of mushrooms, God. then go on three roller coasters <laughs> that we take you on a on a w no website way blog? He would do that. We will give you six hundred and fifty dollars. We're gonna go find me a link in the description. Uh, how, we're gonna raise a hundred grand to shoot Matt Brown. <laughs> In the shin. <laughs> Can you tell your dad that you're gay, but tell him it's a joke? No. <laughs> oh, please. Dad, do I think it. I'm gay. Oh. This is. Oh. <laughs> nah, that's hectic shit. That's what it sounds like when Matt's eating. Is you sexist pig? Oh, <laughs> welcome to episode number seventeen of the Muddy Michael Fully Actual Podcast, man. We got a wild one a few st in store, bro. We got prank calls. We got the Great Debate comes back. We got fucking heaps of fussy little boys, and the boys are gonna eat oh. something from my childhood Germany. Shit. Please don't. It's yeah. like yeah, it's it's truly shocking that this is normal food. In, oh, in Germany. I thought I forgot that that was on today. Yeah, no, nah, it's good. Is my neck okay? No. It's suiting? Oh. oh, man, we've had a fucking busy week since our last podcast. Let me tell you something, bro. We went to Sydney. Matt had to stay because um, Wholesome, Wholesome needed him there to help manage the uh, the, the, the district um, regional drivers. They needed to talk to Matt. They didn't know where to go. <laughs> That's good. He had to tell him where, which site to go oh, to and shit. how much concrete to pour. Shut up, Matt. There's a car here. You pranked us. No, I didn't. The car. Um, yeah, so we went to Sydney. We went to film, w film with uh, Danny Green, the boxer, and which was a fucking buzz. Mm. Did a he round of sparring dude. with him as well at the end Scary. after the video. But yeah, fucking terrifying guy. And we kind of stitched Michael up a little bit. So yeah. um, there'll be a video coming out. That'll be out right now, actually. So if you want to watch social media. And then we also got Danny Green and Pedro, Tyson Pedro, on two separate podcast episodes. So this is something else we're going to start doing, right? So because in the interviews can be quite serious sometimes and they don't really mesh with our podcast this regular podcast so we're just going to start uploading them separately not as like episodes of the season but you know every monday the podcast comes out and then maybe like you know once every three or four weeks we'll have an interview episode that'll just come out on like a thursday or something like that so you guys get extra content yeah but but it's not like you know we did the podcast with danny green and pedro and they're they're a bit more serious so you might not like that kind of shit so that's why we want to put them separately and not kind of try and squeeze two forms of content together that don't really sit well like matt does and we're trying are you going to try sort of they're a bit different we're not gonna be all dressed up a bit more relaxed but, yeah, but yeah. funny but a bit more in a we got to yeah, just yeah. chat to them and see about their lives yeah and man their pedro had some crazy stories eh? and man. he also and I don't know if you guys have seen it. He did a spinning back kick on me. Man, that was like a bad idea to take that. I've been in fucking horrific pain all internal, weekend. Internal yeah, damage. Liver, all the organs are bruised. And then where he kicked me on my back, Whoa. it's just like fucks. Like my back just exploded two days later. So it hurts to just not be lying down. Now. Right now, my liver aches. Oh, you've crushed all your organs because they're sitting yeah. down. Yeah. So um, oh, imagine, imagine taking like three of those in an MMA fight, dude. Yeah. yeah. It probably it put people out of the fight if you get the right spot. Like you the, wouldn't they be able to fight take that. hits like that, don't they? I don't know. Oof. Probably not. You want to see that thing coming? <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, that's on uh, social media if you want to have a look at that. But yeah, we fucking uh, went to Sydney and man, just vlogged the whole experience. We're like. Might as well go and have a fucking funny vlog day. We did some funny things, didn't we? We went to on a ghost tour and it was one heck of a time. Man. We were stoned. Yeah, probably a little too stoned, but <laughs> I scared the shit out of <laughs> yeah. you. I got I genuinely got Marty, like hardcore dude. Yeah, he ran ahead and went and hid in one of the scary rooms and then 
they just let you walk around and then I came in the room and then Michael was just this figure standing behind the door. It was so creepy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I screamed, oh, my God. Yeah, you screamed so, so I thought hard. I was looking at a ghost. Did you get that on video? <laughs> yeah, I feel oh, like yeah. But you can't see good. anything. It's pitch black. Yeah, but you hear Thank it. God. I'm kind of yeah. glad you couldn't see my face and I would have been so scared. I came out in the ghost <laughs> tour with a sheet over me going, <laughs> <laughs> were they, were, wait, were there other people with you on yeah, there? Yeah, I was like, were they laughing? Of, everyone took that yeah, well. Everyone, everyone liked that bit. <laughs> there was one, one like bald older guy. Oh, and man. it felt kind of bad because fucking whenever he'd be like, I said, I saw something. Everyone would just start laughing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't just our group, like what? other groups were laughing too. It's a cord. Oh, it's confused me. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> that's you lashing out at work. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's how I handle situations. I could see, yeah, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> in control, but fucking annoyed. <laughs> and then fucking Saturday was my um, birthday, so we went out for dinner, and Matt went dressed like this. Oh man, yeah, that was a good birthday dinner. I had a steak for like the tenth time in my in life. Your life. Yeah, wow. that was fun. And then Mon organised a fun day on Sunday, but I was a bit hungover. And um, you just surprised me with family over. coming over. What did you do on the it Sunday? It was lovely. It was just lovely. Well, we just woke up, did, you know, presents and stuff. Oh, and then Mon okay. took me to Dream just out of. for lunch and shopping. Yeah. Did you buy anything? No, I was a bit too hungover. We just, I kind of ruined the day. <laughs> but then we had a lovely dinner with the family and it was just lovely. So. Did you have a fire? Yeah. Was John there? Yeah. That's hot. Okay, yeah. that's cool. The whole fam came, surprised me. <laughs> what did your parents go? Your mum? Yeah. What did I'm your mum get you to? <laughs> and to see your mum getting you something so shit for your birthday? What yeah, a gift get? card. <laughs> <laughs> no, my mum gives me a gift card. Yeah, no, I, to be fair, I did, out? I did ask her. A 50 for a or 100? No, it was 200. So. Wow. Okay, that's pretty I, good I get for more, German. I get that's more now than German. I did when I was a kid, but I guess inflation. Yeah, true. Yeah. That works like, out. Yeah. But yeah, no, mum gives me <laughs> gift cards. So she just goes, what do you want? I go, I don't know. And they ha, say, What does your mum spend on your birthday? The same. I get 200 too. Ooh, yeah. yeah, actually, I got a $200 gift card. Shit. Doesn't matter what nationality you are. Yeah, German, or Australian, or Austrian. Indeed. <laughs> 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 and here we are now, guys. We're oh. back uh, filming and shit. And yeah. Oh, let me tell you, it's been, I still haven't really exercised since the boxing. I've just fully let myself go again. In the space of three weeks, I'm back to what I was nearly. It's just fucking unbelievable. I was like, I was so determined. I was like, do not let yourself go back to what you were. And sure enough, a month later, here I am. <laughs> yeah, it's been a week just, since I've I've got to like have like something to go for, like a goal in mind or like just, I, I need to commit to just not just being sober because I just, it's just out of control. Yeah, it is. It's hard without a goal, but that's why that leads us to our first sponsor. Bro, this has been so helpful over the week, eh? Manscaped, man. Like, I've been using their products so much, especially in Sydney. I shave my shave my body and sh and go to Manscaped and see what products they have because I guarantee you they'll have shit that you haven't even thought of, like ball wipes. Your balls smell like because they're so close to your Hole dangling there, collecting all the dew from your ass, and your fart marinate into undies, stains balls. So you want ball wipes? You can have twenty percent off. There you go, fully actual twenty. Actually, didn't someone say the discount didn't work? Yeah, well, we need to. I forgot to it. email them about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is so good as our advertisement. Use our discount code. It might it not might be working not work. right now, okay? But we will look into that as soon as we have to be on time, okay? So. Use that discount code if it doesn't work. Just hang on, hang on, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go spying shit yet. Maybe they wait till we sort that. Maybe It'll they left sorted. us. It'll be sorted by now. You can use fully. Yeah, actual yeah, it 20. should be sorted by now. So go and have a look at it. It's for women as well. Big fucked hairy things. Oh, uh, what? It breaks down your dangleberries. Yeah, you can. Really? Yeah, and you can That's do it the in the shower. Does. That's the best thing about it, man. You can do it in the pool. It, it literally stops shit from basing around your ass. Those things, yeah, they don't nick you as much. Yeah, the, the ball nicks are much lower and you can do it all in the to shower. Be, like, to be fair, I haven't had a a, like, ball nick. a testicle cut for quite some time. Well, uh, well it's time. 
it's healed. Like they're all healed. I used to have constantly one just fucking healing because you get cut all the time. <laughs> Maybe we don't say that. <laughs> no, no, no. When, That's like, not really showing their product. No, no, no. no. This is like before He's I started using it. It used to be shit product. Yeah, it used to be now shit. But haven't good. you been using it for five years now? No, no. It'd be like three or four. Yeah, so yeah, used to I haven't was had a long time. I haven't ago. had a cut since. Yeah, look, that, that what we're saying is it's good. Yeah, yeah. it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's good shit, and it helps us because yeah, we need yeah, you guys so to. So fully uh, actual twenty twenty percent off. Link in the description. Go and have a look and get yourself some face cream. Keep on our podcast. All right, guys, let's fucking get in all What about the Marty and Michael University site that runs everything yeah, else? Yeah, that's true. Look, that is probably the most. What important. about the 50 hour hand? We would have given that out by would, now. How weird would it be? Just imagine you've watched every episode of our podcast, well, all 220 of them, and then you've never, ever seen the real rad shit, the coolest stuff that's better than this podcast. And it funds everything no, we not. do. Like tomorrow we're getting a some we're getting a cherry picker that's like seventeen meters tall and we're filming a website video. We're gonna throw drop shit and see what hurts dropped. We probably can't we're gonna have to bleep this because we'll probably get um shadow banned on YouTube, but we are trying basically to blow up the world tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna make a bomb. Like we're gonna drop it from high heights. We're gonna drop the nail bed onto like a, a fire extinguisher. Oh, that's gonna go wrong. <laughs> Shrapnel fly oh. around, smash through the house walls. Probably. Are you doing it here? <laughs> yeah, just there. Yeah. <laughs> nice close to car. Yeah, it's gonna be dangerous. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I yeah, don't so anyway, be. if you want to support us, there's a 21 day free trial link in the description. We do monthly giveaways for premium members. We've just given 50 grand to someone. <sighs> Well, so that's happened. So grand. somebody right now is 50k rich. Yeah, so a website member. So there you go. We've got over 200 or 300 now videos on there. Are like you even promoting it? I, I never see any promotions of the 50k. We are. We have promoted yeah. it a couple of times. And maybe we'll do it more. Something. Yeah, maybe we should do a bit more. Hey? Yeah, yeah, we are. I've no, seen we're, one. We're doing, a, we're doing another me. giveaway video this week. Well, you should watch our videos all the way through because they come on at the end. I do. And okay. our stories. Didn't you see Michael running and screaming the other day? <laughs> yeah, I came and lied next to <laughs> yeah, you. I'm not trying to cover him. Self. My bed. <laughs> You're having an <laughs> afternoon nap. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> but anyway, let's move along. Hey, let's read some um, some of Matt's fucked up dreams. Oh, hit it, Brown. Oh, we don't have a. Uh, uh, we're gonna do one. some. Me and Michael have been talking about it for a few weeks now. Matt, Matt, Matt's dream, 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 dream. I'm gay. <laughs> no, 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 that's not it. Right, really. <laughs> that was a good lie, dude. <clears throat> I was suckling on the left breast of my mother. Her entire areola filled my mouth. Whoa. With every suck, a sweet, thick milk would flow from it. I would let the milk pool in my mouth to savour the flavour and happily gulp it down and continue suckling like a happy little piglet. <laughs> my mother pulled me off her left breast and guided me to my right to her right breast. I latched on and started suckling again eagerly. Gentle, my baby Matthew. You have to learn to be gentle. I ignored this comment, kept suckling deeply and quickly. I sculled her teeth until I was full. Then I detached myself and belched. I was immediately tired. My mother placed me in my crib and I started falling asleep. Just as I was drifting away, my father came home. He was drunk again. <laughs> it is done dinner or what? You're home early, so I haven't had a chance to cook yet. Oh, I'm starving. Dad stomped over to the fridge and opened it. He bent over and carefully inspected the contents of our fridge. Fucking nothing. Not one thing to eat. Dad turned to Mum. When are you going to grocery shopping? This is fucked. I, I haven't had time, darling. I've been looking after our baby Matthew. What about me? What are you going to look after me? I see a baby Matthew sucks your tits. Those are my tits. I'm the only one who should be sucking those tits. You're being dramatic, cork, sh cork shift. I'll have dinner done in 30 minutes. That's too long. My father slammed the fridge and stumbled over to my mother. He grabbed at her 
when she tried to hit his hands away. Dad finally got a hold of her and ripped at it. Stop! Dad ignored mum and ripped mum clean off, exposing my mother's large, milky bits. Quarkshift, you're being ridiculous! My mother tried to push him away, but it was futile. My father pushed her back so she was flat on her back. He straddled her and firmly grabbed both of her in his hand and squeezed them hard. He leant forwards and stuffed both of mum's in his mouth at the same time. Then he started sucking. Mum gave up and just let Dad suck. Dad was doing deep, long sucks. I could hear the milk into his mouth. I watched on as Mum's slowly deflated. Dad kept sucking. He drank and drank and Mum's started to really shrivel up. Quokship, stop! You're, you're kidding me! My mother's were now flat, empty skin sacks, but my father continued to suck. I had to do something. Mum was being feasted on and Dad wasn't stopping. <laughs> I was only a baby, but I had to try. I stood up and grabbed the steel frame around my crib. I looked up and saw that there was no more milk coming from Mum's butts. It was blood now. Dad was sucking blood out of Mum's butts, and with every suck, Mum's entire body shriveled up a bit more. I became more determined than ever. Hang on, Mum. I'll save you. I pulled myself up on top of the f- steel frame and swung the leg over. I sat on top of the steel frame and swung my other leg over. I jumped off the top of the crib and slipped as I did. The fall was a lot further than I realised, and I started twisting midair. Shit. Since my head was so heavy, heavy it overtook my body. I was now falling headfirst towards the hardwood floor. I gained a huge amount of speed. It was obvious I had severely misjudged this drop. There was nothing I could do. My head slammed into the floor and I felt it cave in. My neck snapped and my vertebrae crumbled under the force of the fall. I was dead and mum was dead. I woke up and sh- my nappy as I came silk. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked. That is a fucked dream, man. <laughs> I can't believe- I haven't- Oh, man. Quiet. That's why- Oh, choir. She's gone. <laughs> That's why my parents are divorced. Because oh, your dad did that. Well, one of many. Oh, oh, one of many dads. Oh. One of many. <laughs> yeah. <attacks. laughs> he sips from his demon drink. Oh, yeah. Oh, six, six, six. Oh man, we're meant to be um, drinking mother, but m- I guess that fucking's fallen through to another sponsor gone. Yeah, fuck, <laughs> we've lost all our sponsors. <laughs> Just we're slowly over time. This podcast is going. <laughs> it's like this, bro. It's like up and down, bro. What happened with mother? <laughs> They just reject. No, well, they just keep saying, oh, a legal team takes ages to get back to us. So, like, it'll be a few months before we get back to you. We just haven't heard back. So, yeah, it's oh, going well. well. <laughs> at, least we got a, at least we got a fridge. <laughs> we got a free fridge. So, if you guys can think of anyone who might want to sponsor us, let us know in the comments. Would Wholesome ever sponsor us? No. <laughs> Imagine... <laughs> What would you do if there was uh, another competitor of Concrete that was watching this and they sponsored the podcast? Would you allow it? Yep. Really? Yeah. No, Wholesome would not. That would not go down well. Well, Wholesome if- should sponsor us then. <laughs> well, Man, can you ask? Cool. I already have. <laughs> no. Then we could build the whole podcast out of wood. And have a cement sculling competition. Mm-hmm. Would you die if you had cement? Yep. What chemicals has it got in it? I don't know. There's a few. <laughs> What about if you snorted it? It'd probably be bad too. What about I'm pretty sure there are videos of people doing that, but can't be I, good. Man, if we wanted to die and wanted to see a crazy way to die, we should drink a load of water and then or drink concrete. So it just yeah, it hardens seeing, in your seeing stomach. Seeing if concrete makes you harder. I don't, I know, if it, for, I don't know if we go harder. Hard hard hard. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, because it needs to be dry. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, true. It'll be wet. But you could, you could probably fill your nose with it and then leave it in there for a week. Indeed. Ooh. And then try and blow out and there'll be these tubes. Whoa. Tubes. Fuck me. The great debate between mates. This is the great debate. Oh, shit. I need the hey, pro and con. Hey, 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 Today's argument. Women are shit drivers. Oh, 
Michael <laughs> is for that argument that women are shit drivers and Matt is against it. Now, remember, guys, this is not real. These are not their actual opinions. They're just trying to win this debate. So if you are easily offended, then skip on ahead of this segment because shit's about to get real. The things they say are not real. They don't actually think them, okay? All right, Michael, you've got a minute and a half to convince us that women are shit drivers. Good luck, you sexist pig. Three, two, one, explode yourself. Okay, I'm going to go off the basis that something's better and something's shit. So I'm only going to go from examples I've had in my life. There have been three instances where I've had an accident. First accident, someone went up my ass. The second accident was there was a lady the other day at the bus stop and a bus sort of scraped her car because she couldn't realise that it had to turn. It had like right away. Scraped the whole side of her car up. It was also a lady. Okay, now there was also another time where I hit a person, T-boned them at 60 kilometres an hour because they indicated and pulled out in front of me. And they had, that was their grandma driving and two other ladies there and they so it was all women there was four women in the car so you're saying just based off your personal experiences you've seen women all only be responsible for the accidents for the accidents that i've i've been in what okay a, and what about like us like men have like better all hand-eye windows. coordination and shit look i'm not going to go that deep yet but from Pussy. an instance of being <laughs> Something is better than like if something <laughs> shit because it's the second best. Then I'd say yeah, like women are therefore in my argument those three instances shit were drivers. shit. No, those three instances. Were well, shit. you're saying, but your argument is overall that women are shit drivers. Yes. Well, that's evidence for that. Yes. Yeah. So that's what you're trying to prove. Mm. All right, and time. All right, Brown, your rebuttal. You don't think women are shit drivers? Three, two, one, goes hard one. This one. Firstly, based off the way you debated, I will start by doing that. With my personal experience, I got hit up the ass while on the way to work and that was by a man. Yeah, we know mm. that, Brown. That was your fault though. No, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> um, so that simply rules out the experience side of things because clearly but men can do it But he had four examples, even like a one. Doesn't matter. So they're four times worse. 100% of shit. his example, 100% of mine equals 50-50. No, that's five examples in total, 80, 20. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, also, there's no scientific... What's the, What's the thinking going on anyway? Hey, spoken one point yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, a bit of extra time. Uh, also, based off science, there's nothing, there's no scientific evidence that proves... How do you know that? Because they were pull a paper up, but then shows that there's a scientific evidence. Yeah, but that I'm shows sure what I'm saying is you have not read. You have not read all the research. I don't need to read the research because there is none. Yeah, so there is none. So no one's done the research yet. Maybe we should test that. Exactly. There's no proof out there that men are better drivers than women. Women are now starting to even drive in uh, in racing, which uh, <laughs> in the past they never have, which seems to prove that women are just as good as the well, there's men. There's a lot more. Men. That's actually a good good counter. That's argument. because there are a lot more men. That's because history shows history shows that men are quite sexist towards the women. They didn't allow them. To, you know, weren't allowed to vote. weren't allowed to do any type of sports really. And you know, now they're letting them in. They're letting them into the racing. Time. <laughs> All right, you got one minute to counter that. Come on, surely, do it for men. Do it for men everywhere. <laughs> Okay. Women are shit drivers. Go. Okay. Look, I'm going to add a little bit more to my argument that I've been keeping a secret and it's only going to help both genders because we both are good at certain things. But obviously I had my evidence, a lot more evidence than Mr. Brown uh, to prove that men were better drivers. I've also had firsthand uh, experiences. Also, look, if you look at, all those films, there have been like 10 of them that have been made on The Fast and the Furious, which is pretty cool, right? Cars are cool. These movies, probably, I'm going to say it's a 90 to 10% split men actors. And then there's like a women actor that maybe gets f***ed in it. <laughs> but then, you're saying that that's all they're good for. No, 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 no. In the driving <laughs> instance... They weren't like a main character to be like a driver. Yeah. But if you look at Blue Crush, which is a banger surfer film, it's, a, it's got them as the stars, which women are better surfers. Oh. 
All right. Last rebuttal, Matt. Three, two, one, go. From the Australian Bureau of Statistics, men have had a higher rate of car accidents than women and they have caused a higher rate of car accidents than women. I believe it is 76% of men have had car accidents that are caused by men. It's not. We don't know that for sure. We don't have Google. I actually know this. Okay. So... Based off that statistic, there's no proof that the that men are that the women are better than men. And I'm gonna go as far as I wouldn't even say men are the bad ones here. I say that we are all equal. And we are equally shit as each other. But if we go to the mining industry, <laughs> they tend to hire women truck drivers more than men. Because you pay them women. Less. Because women are safer drivers. <laughs> and time, all right. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to give that one to Matt. This Fuck! Week. Oh, that's a hard one to win. <laughs> I thought that would be an easy one to win. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You need to go dark. You normally win these now. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you're pro or con. <laughs> Mm. Anyway, all right, that's the great dark. debate. Let us know who you who you think won, and um, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, give us a five star review on Spotify. We got to keep that train churning. Also, baby. like to add, two of the main characters now. in Fast and Furious were driving. So yeah, I know. I was hoping you'd forget there. that. I, um, I was hoping. Let's not go. There. I didn't even need that, and I won. We're nearly at forty k subscribers so, on YouTube. Film. So yeah, so there. We so are, look, we we're are, gonna hit the mill and we've got a massive, we're gonna have a huge, huge party for the one million subscribers. How far off from a million are you guys? We're like one thousand. By the time this comes out, we'll be at a million Holy subscribers. Shit. We've been a million on all platforms. That's that's never been done before. So you're it a thousand has away from a million. Times. We're we're like under a hundred away from being forty thousand on the podcast channel on yeah, YouTube. Yeah. Uh it's it's good time. So oh, don't yeah. forget which maybe we should do like a giveaway and just give away a grand if people subscribe to both. Yeah, well, they'd have to show proof. Maybe yeah. you should have used your 50K. <laughs> oh, no, we to gave that to someone, to man. They're spending that money on good shit right now, baby. Mm, maybe mm. you should have made it 30K and then you put 10K on like other little competitions. On, anyway. po on the pokies. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. we should have done that, bro. Put 10K mm. in, in the pokies. But like, we'll go to a place where you can do $50 bets. Have. Oh, okay. We should go put the 50 grand on black at the casino. You got about a 50 50 shot at winning. Mm. Maybe. Sign up. Well, yeah, probably. And does anyone at your work watch the website videos possibly? There's one. Wow. Imagine if he won the 50K and left Wholesome. He wouldn't leave Wholesome, but he'd, he'd probably show up pretty happy. He'd buy a car. A yeah, Nissan. he probably would buy a car. A Nissan when I, gonna, I would try and I'd try and tell him not to do that, but yeah, he probably would buy a car. Would you <laughs> him off for a million dollars? What else? At work. Oh, <laughs> at work? In the bathroom. Oh, okay, that's a bit easier. But you have to convince him. But like surely for half a mil he'd do it and then you just split it down the middle. You should call him and ask. <laughs> <laughs> Would you let him that s**t you off for a yeah, I'll give you 500k. That'd probably make it back to HR, brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh. yeah, it would. So you would him off? Yeah. That's retirement. You could retire from Wholesome. You could put it all yeah, on. Yeah, you could definitely do ten, yeah, at least 10 years of just relaxing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you <never, you'd laughs> have 10 years out. off. <laughs> you could think of all. 10 years it off can't work. be that bad, can oh, it? Oh, man. You try and invest it somewhere smart. Go, 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 a million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's move. Let's, oh, shit, let's move it's along. It's not this segment. What? Fussy little fuck. Oh, yeah, all right. We're, fussy little brown. We're going to have a fussy bomb break. little house. And we'll be right back with fussy little boys. The boys are going to eat something real fuck this week. Fucking hell. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> no.
I don't oh, want. Oh no! All right, we're no. back, guys. It's a fuzzy little voice time. Michael's not happy about it. All right, James, come on in. Let's see what we got for the voice. Oh yeah, and hit the bloody hit the button, Matt. We haven't hit the jingle yet. We haven't hit the jingle. Look at him bending around. His arm doesn't go that way. There fussy little boy, fussy little world. These are the fussy, fussy girls. Fuss, 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 fuss. World. <laughs> oh yuck! That's <laughs> sick. This is where a segment where we give James. Uh, James brings in some. No. Some food for Michael and Matt. Matt's being defiant, and uh, that's because they're both fussy, and they're going to give it a rating out of ten, and we're going to see who's fussier. My students for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not one of your students. <laughs> I would bitch my students. Oh. All right. Indeed. All right, guys. Here we have something from my childhood um, that I used to eat a lot of. Okay. Leberwurst. All right. And this is creamed, yeah. creamed pork yeah. liver. Right. They've like emulsified it, turned it into a paste. And then you put it on, smear it on bread and eat it. And this is mm. duck pate. Duck. Yeah. Not dark. Duck, with, man. With gelatin on top. Oh, gelatin. Look at, the ge look at the jelly. Look at the jelly, Michael. Watch it wobble. Watch it wobble. Ah! That's the jelly, okay? So you guys are going to have one of each in case yeah, you want to taste I'd just like, like to apologise to you both about the presentation today. I know it's not very appetising. Oh, fuck off. That's nice. Normally I make an effort. That is an effort. Oh, look at look today, at the way though. the biscuits go. The biscuits look all right, but everything else a bit sad. Oh, watch get a load this. of that. Get a load of that, everyone. Get zoom up on this, Connor. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, looks oh! Like, a, like a ejecting it's out of its. Uh, oh my oh, god, yeah, that Stop is it. so rough. It's like a it. ejecting out of its skin. Oh. All right, I will now. Cut off what is it's a very, normal um, serving. It's like plastic. Are you fucking kidding? That's like half a cow. Oh yes, smear the pate. Um, which one's which? So this is Leberwurst. Very common in Germany. You usually have it with a shitload of mustard on rye bread. Oh, I can smell it. I'd like you to smell it first before trying. Oh, the it. smell is fucked. <laughs> All right, Michael. I'd like you to try this first. Whoa. And Matt, you can try the duck. Would you oh, like to I help don't yourself? Touch it. I can okay. serve him. No, thank you, thank you oh. James. <coughs> All right, oh, Michael. Mmm, Leberwurst. Does heist Leberwurst? Lots of like preservatives and oh. like stuff in there. It's really fucked. So many numbers on the back, like so many. So chemically in there, they must just get the livers, oh. mix chemicals in with it, and it turns it into mush. Oh, fuck's sake! <laughs> oh, oh, what's the, the? Why is there like a little brown stripe there? It's fat. Fat duck fat, <laughs> duck fat and gelatin. It that smells like shit. Oh, that's got dude, jelly on it. Sick. Similar to dog meat out of cans. This might be the worst. Honestly, oh, the worst week yet. It smells like shit. Okay. Is I'm there just a car here? Not thing. I'm just gonna <laughs> go to back to default settings. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it always lands face down, eh, Mickey? <laughs> Ah! <laughs> You're losing the good bit, just the biscuit. <laughs> oh, that's no, actually all right. Pure cream. Oh, you like oh, it, Brown? Likes the uh, no, I don't it. like it. It's just it's the taste isn't that bad. All right, go on, Michael. Have a little, mo have a little nibble. <laughs> 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 the noise. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> uh, processed liver paste. Oh! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> liver paste. Oh, it's don't pig like liver that. too. Its organs were used to flush its body, oh. and you're eating that will blend it up into paste. It's not good. Oh, when they you don't speak. They don't take the blood out oh. of it. The blood's left yeah. in there. There's heaps of blood in there too. All right, I've tried it. It's it. What do you give it out? What do you give it out of ten? It's still shit. What do you give it out? Three. Three out of ten, okay. <laughs> All right, now you have to try some of the Leberwurst and my cousin have some of the <laughs> duck pate. Do you want my duck pate? Oh, oh. <laughs> that man, his rage is building. <laughs> hit him in the neck. It always turns into a food fight. He's got it in his <laughs> chest hair. <laughs> I can't follow it. What, what was that second object you threw? Was Veg it... Th just biscuit? Oh, that's such a shame. <laughs> what? Because Matt was bending forward. It was unbelievable. I it just it. missed Matt's head and We're landed behind. in his oh, chair and then oh. Matt sat back into it. Oh, it's just a biscuit. It's I like think dog it was food, dude. Biscuit. That is like dog food. Oh, it is a bit sloppy. Oh, though. there is a bit of moist on it. 
I the smell of it. That means it's on me. <sighs> Someone. Mm. Why do you have to put so Ooh. much though? That's just Germany. <laughs> okay. It's Germany. <laughs> That's their culture, just so much of it. What's this called again? Leberwurst. Oh, this smells worse. <laughs> Look at that <laughs> jelly on top. So nice. <laughs> Look at the jelly it's on such top. A thick piece. Yeah, dog, canned <laughs> dog food has a similar. Get it done, Michael. <laughs> he got such a big bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, this is so shit. <laughs> <laughs> Your bit's fucking huge. <laughs> jelly. Oh, oh chew dark it in the liver. microphone. It's we want to hear it. Dark liver. Oh, I thought this was poo. Pate was like droppings, wasn't it? What do you think of the flavour of oh, the duck liver? <laughs> the really? Jelly. Mm. I'm struggling with this one. I'm not a pate fan. Again, oh, right? it is so uh, gross. Pate is a bit rich for me. <laughs> it's like it's like meat toothpaste. Oh, oh yeah. fuck yep. off. Don't say that. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine brushing your teeth with this oh. every night, you fucking cunt. Was that the consistency of peanut butter, that oh, one? Because Marty oh. said that to me this morning. That really grossed me out. It is. Oh, this one's yeah, so much worse. Can stick to the roofy of mouth mm. and um, mad breath. This is meat shit. butter. This is like deli meat <sighs> in a paste. This is rough, man. <laughs> what do you give that? Out That's of a ten? fucking one. That's really? so wow. shit. I well, I know that. two because I one is like the worst thing ever. This is a two. I could get through this if I was starving, but I'm not. So one more <laughs> bite. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's so gross. It's merely <laughs> meat paste. <laughs> oh, get ready, Brown. Oh, oh, here it comes. I might actually move. Here it comes. He's going to throw this oh. with some real hate. Smelly meat paste on his shirt. I don't want to hit your eye. Oh, yeah, watch out for the equipment. Look at the look at the Think rage. Think it that way. Building. Head towards James, but don't get James. It would remain. Oh, my God. All right. What do you give it out of 10? The first one was like a solid, like one. No, that, that, that. <laughs> it was a solid oh. like three out of 10. That is a one. The gelatin shit is so fucked. Yeah, it's like plastic. <laughs> yeah. Extra That's soft. not normal. Yeah, it doesn't look like food That shouldn't be on food. How much to eat just the sliver of jelly on the top, Michael? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. I need like $300. Probably now these days I'm poor. I reckon like 150 140. 50 Baby. bucks each, boys. <laughs> Deal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, what? Yeah, not cool. I got one coming for you, boys, in a couple of weeks. No. It's going to be. Don't say things like that. I'm nervous. Genuinely, I'm nervous. <laughs> Is it edible? <laughs> That's what uh, in some cultures. In some? Yeah. It's, it's not only like we are. All right. Look, you were prepared to eat dolphin last week. Man, yeah. The, yeah, but you couldn't convinced us. Oh, the dolphin was sick too. Oh, I just burped and you can smell the smell. <gasps> the meat paste. Oh, yeah. Fuck. It's going to be like that for a long you should, time. You boys. have it with mustard and it's really oh, good though. It's not normal. It's like salt. Lots of salt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was excited. I would never. Actually, this is the best part. Of, the best part of this is is stroking that. It feels fucking great. Your fingers are gonna smell like that forever. Oh, yeah. Ever. oh yeah. fuck, what fish. Tell me it's that. like Meat fish jelly. Yeah. Anyway, that's fussy little boys. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, <laughs> <laughs> Matt's just throwing the. Oh look, I got the jelly from the pat. Did that one hurt a bit, Michael? <laughs> that was like, hey, just a shock. Oh. Shocky. <laughs> <laughs> boo boo yucky! Oh, dude, it's so it's sick. In my face. Oh, jelly. it's all over your computer jelly. keys. Jelly. Is it really? No, I made that part up, but mm. I enjoyed the panic. Meat jelly, meat jelly from the deli. Peg it at him oh, as hard oh, as you can. Oh, <laughs> Stand up and like baseball. Oh, dude. Oh, do it, Please. Brown. Oh, 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 that's disgusting. Oh, 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 oh that's. Fuck. Did you see the side-on version of that, Mark? <laughs> yeah, it's good, eh? I just tried to block it out, but it's not good. I can pitch on that side in a cock now. Good. I'm oh. scared. Ooh. Me have to be scared. Ooh, what's in my goo on it? Oh, oh, it's so yuck. That is fucking fuck. Oh, I might need a 
I wash my hands. Yeah, go on then. Go and give him a wash. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I just get really excited. Please eat it. Please eat it. Please eat it. It won't go in. Just relax your tongue. It won't go in. Your tongue is pushing it out. Chew 10 times. 10 times. Yeah. All the way in, it has to Do be. Do it quick. Three, two, one, go. Dude. One, two. Oh. Come on, ten times. Oh, disgusting. Oh. Oh. I can take it now. Gelatin. Thanks. Yeah. I need to wash my hands. You're calling me gelatin. <laughs> oh, man. Salt. We had salty meat. Ground oh, up you. livers. Who does that? All right, we'll be That's right back, psycho. everyone. Matt's going to go the clean German his pores. All right, we're back. Let's fucking rip in, boys. Um, I just want to say that wasn't. I've had better days. Yeah, I've, I've eaten better food. It's strange that someone thought to do that. I'll give you that. Yeah, I'll give you that. All right, let's get down with the brown. Oh fuck! Down with the brown. We're down with the brown. This is where we ask Brown really personal questions, and he opens up so we get to know him a little bit more oh. because no one really knows who Matt Brown really is, apart from his dreams. <laughs> All right, here we go. I got fucking meat in my teeth. <laughs> yeah, dude, you gotta wash that shit down. Use it as toothpaste. <laughs> Matt? Amber will smell that tonight. What's your favorite ride at an amusement park? Well, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but I have said it before in the past. I do have a like a bit of a fear of roller coasters. Really? Oh, really? So you wouldn't go on them? Like I've been on some. Like I went on um like the Nickelodeon one where your legs dangle at Dreamworld and you go around the oh, thing. Oh, the fucking kids one. Yeah, but even that was like, like, I don't like the... You haven't been on an adult roller coaster, you're saying? <laughs> no. You've never been on one adult you roller coaster? fucking yeah. loser. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't get me wrong, I can do, um, no. you know Giant Drop? That's stupid. I can do Giant Drop. All right, you but know I can't what we're doing? Do, I can't do Giant Drop's coaster. one of the worst of all of them. No, we're see, Giant Drop's fine because you just got to go up, there's a car coming in. That you sort of just go <laughs> always on the lookout for up cars. and down. Oh, it's, it's mon. like a fucking guard dog. It's just mon. Okay, what about this? Like, I, would I, like, you go can I... on three roller coasters in one day? We will pay for it all. Hang on. for a video. I'll I'll tell you. I, I'll give you some context because you just don't say I'm scared and without telling you why. Um, so I was at Dreamworld with my family, and you going, got ripped. I was. Going, oh no, sorry, no. <laughs> sorry, it was Sea World. It was SeaWorld. Um, I was at SeaWorld and there was an old little roller coaster there and I was about to do the corkscrew. Remember the corkscrew at SeaWorld? And my sister's like, yeah, it's fun. You'll like it. It's just real fast and you just go for it. And I was like, oh, okay. And then so they went on the small one first to ease me into it. And it was literally like up and it went around and went like that. And that was very simple and it fucked me up. I like the jolting and the it just threw me out and I couldn't do it. <laughs> I didn't like it. Do you want them to be more See, gentle? I remember that roller yeah. coaster, the one that you're talking about. Do you know about. what I'm talking and about? It, it's, it's, it's piss. It's, it's, it's not shit. scary. It's a kid's roller coaster. Yeah, it literally. Do you have dips. only had two experiences on two kids' roller coasters? How you've never you? done an adult. You're like 58 and you've never done an adult how roller coaster. I'm finding this out now. I'm like, like, how, well, I did tell you guys. This? That's I, so. We're doing it. We're, you're, you're going on a fucking roller coaster. How much money? I did tell you guys. I don't think it was very interesting at the time when I said it. It was more of a joke. If I. If we gave you, like this, I don't, is, this like is the I terms. Like Look, it. like it's going to be very a, hard. We got a very good video here. Would you do a gram and a half of mushrooms? Oh, fuck. Off. Then go on three roller coasters that we take <laughs> you on a on a w no website way vlog. He would do that. Dude. And then it's going to be hard doing it normally. We will give you a thousand dollars, six hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> fuck hell! I like. Just let me finish. Uh, like. We're at Dreamworld and they had, used to have the two upside down ones and Dad was trying to push me to go on that. And I just, yeah, there's something fear. I, I've been on, you remember the 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 VR machine at um, Time Zone at, at Chermside? Yeah. I went on that and there was even a part where I went down like a roller coaster. You're not and helping. I went like that. 
You're not like, helping, nude. You're not yeah. helping. You're <laughs> making everything that is worse. Fucked up. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's so just honestly, that, dude, that is some fucking basketball collecting bullshit. <laughs> that is first. First frontier shit. Remember we went on the pirate ship at Aussie World and we were, I was next to you, I think, and we were sort of going up and down. There was like two or three moments where I was like, oh, I'm really struggling. Like, <laughs> I go, Don't say that, dude. <laughs> dude and it was just like, just a, it was just like that, wasn't it? it just, you remember yeah. when and everyone went on that big claw thing that went up in the sky and I was like, I'm not doing that. I just, <laughs> Did you go on that thing when we went to Aussie World? No. The claw? Yeah, yeah. No, no, claw, no, 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 no. <laughs> Wow, so you, yeah. we went on it like five times. Dude, I like Gravitron, right? If we go on the Gravitron, easy. I can oh, do it 20 yeah. times Spinning in a row. Spinning ones are fucked. 20 times in a row, easy. Um, the, the Stingray. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Steve no, Owen. We, we have to do a roller coaster. You're doing that. But, That's yeah, happening. I think it's the fast jolt. It just doesn't, yeah. And then but, they get... As you can't time get go- hurt. They, you, you, don't, you don't get hurt. No, I've seen too many videos where things go wrong. But when, <laughs> when as time goes on, the roller coasters are getting more and more daring and more and more freaky. I just don't think I can do it. Well, so you wouldn't do it for a video. I, I, I don't know. It'd be very difficult for me to. That, do that. is crazy. It just it freaks me. I, Maybe I like, we could do it on Brown's Day Out. I think I would be able to like push myself to just fucking strap in because once you're in, you're fucked and you can't do anything about it. So, yeah, but yeah, I think... I'd Would be, you do it without being strapped in? No. Once you do <laughs> once you do one, I reckon you'll love them. Dude, you remember like... Um, you may see those just videos. hanging on. See those people, <laughs> those people like freaking out and they go... Ah! And they just go. Yeah, those are more like, like really violent kind of fucking... Yeah, yeah. that's what you're going to put me on. No, okay? no. Look, video to come, we could definitely website that up somehow and get you to do it in a certain manner. Even even social media, Matt Brown's first ever adult roller coaster. Yeah, it's the feeling of like my stomach like like falling, like you know that falling feeling? Next question. All right, what's your biggest pet peeve? Biggest pet peeve? From girls. No, what, is it from girls? or from Yeah, it general? says from girls. <laughs> <laughs> See, on a first date, she me does a, this. Give me an example of a pet peeve. Um, I, I hate it when, when people they, eat too loudly. Michael doesn't like being touched on the front. Yeah, or part. when they do shit in the lounge room <laughs> and spit all over the carpet. I hate it when that happens. That's my pet peeve. And when they grab grab me. I don't know. I, 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 can't, I honestly can't think of a pet peeve right now about really? a woman. Come what on. About, okay. what, about, what about when she's like fucking smearing shit all over the lounge room carpet? I don't know. My girlfriend doesn't do that. No, but okay. Well, what what about just if you saw, we've got tiles. If you saw a girl do this in public with her partner, what what would make you go? Oh, oh, actually, you know, I I think a pet peeve would be like if we're having a disagreement, and like bring it out in public in front of people, and whether it's friends or randoms, I like fighting with me in front of like uh, okay. public. Like that, I think that's ridiculous. Public arguments. Yeah, what about? I don't mind having yours. a. I don't mind having a disagreement or like, or we're annoyed with each other in public. That's fine. But if you're gonna have like a full blown argument, like don't do, like don't do that. I'll, I will not talk to you. What about? <laughs> because people, everyone acts different. Because they've got oh, suddenly oh, oh I'm gonna make a scene. Do you so know what I mean? It, it could have happened in the past. That's why it's. Annoying. It has happened. That's in the where Brown puts the firm foot down. Yeah. You don't argue with him in public. Like <laughs> you can get fucked. You pull him aside and have a private, mature conversation. Exactly. But do not raise your voice at him in public because Matt will leave. He will leave the situation. Do you understand me? Like I think, um, I think one time the uh, an ex came in and slammed. Which one? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Slammed a key, the keys down on the table and had a go at me about something that I, was, that I wasn't even aware of, and um, and like in front of all my friends, and I just sat, I stood in silence. I didn't even say anything. And she walked out, and we had an argument later. <laughs> but yeah, but I was that. like, yeah, you just don't do that. It's not, yeah, it's not a, yeah, I'm not, I'm not into public arguments. <laughs> What about, okay, what about all sexes? What's an all sexes thing that annoys you? Um, He's not into public arguments. That's very that good. Me. Next time we're at a cafe together, I'm going to pretend to have a massive argument with you. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, no, but pretend- On a roller coaster, I'm going to just fucking go at it on you. <laughs> Fuck you, man. No, pretend. I know it's going to be pretend, so I'm going to laugh about it. So it won't work. Okay, but, but what about in general pet peeve? Um. Yeah. Fuck. I'm pretty, pretty easy going. Yeah. Lad. Pretty easy going. Well, anyway, um, let's move on. That's like, good. just if people are rude to like people I like, 
like I, like you know my family <laughs> or my friends like and I can see them being rude and my friends are like dealing with it so it's not a big deal. Like I don't know if that's a pet peeve, but I I get generally annoyed. You stand up for what yeah, you don't like, like seeing your friend's family get be rude too. Like, yeah, like I saw someone be rude to you guys once, and you guys were very like calm and and pushed them away. And I remember thinking, I want to, yeah. I when was that? Shit. Oh, I can't. Remember. Yeah, it was a while ago. We'll talk about that. What a fan or something? No, nah, was a fan. All right, the last one. Well, it could be a fan. Mm. How important is money? How do you know when you have enough? <laughs> I don't know, everyone's everyone's views on money is different, but what are your views on money, Brown? Yeah, of course it's important. The more yeah. money you have, the more easier life is. And so, when do you think enough is enough? Like Thirty bucks, a yeah. couple of grand in the bank, a couple of weeks worth of rent. I wouldn't even put a, a total on it. What about if someone could come to you right now and say you? Here's your amount of money that you need to feel comfortable with, but you can't like earn that much for the rest of your life, but we'll give you this sum amount and you can take it right now. What would you go? Yeah, I'm comfortable and with that. And then they you in the legs. <laughs> yeah, one leg, one shin. <laughs> so I'm disabled. No, no, just no, your leg comes so good you, in the end. So you, you know, know three months. take a shot. You know they're serious. I take a shot yeah. and then I can't earn any more money for the rest of my life. But that's why, what, you, what's a fair amount? Oh, so I just need enough to like comfortably live for the rest of my life. Yeah, but no, but you still got to work. But You'll still have to work. Well, well, but I don't earn any money. But yeah, but it's just what's but an if amount if that I've makes got you money, go, yeah. What's the point of me what's working? What's an amount that will make you go, yeah, that feels right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just give me, I don't know, just give me like 10 million and they'll be very easy. I can very <laughs> easily have to do work things. Again yeah, exactly. Million. What about if someone just said, here's 100k cash, you, here you go. What, what are the consequences? No, well, they shoot you leg. in the leg. So, God. I heal, nothing, heal. no complications. Three months, you're like lying down. You get to play Red Dead Redemption 2. No complications, sh** on the leg, I won't die. No complications, Red Dead for three months while it heals, 100K. Mm -hmm. Yeah, done. All right, oh, yeah. let us, send us a DM if you own a guy out there, guys. And 100K. Well, we start a fucking, that's a GoFundMe, uh, we're going to GoFundMe link in the description. Uh, how, we're going to raise 100 grand to sh** Matt Brown. <laughs> <laughs> the shin, the shin would hurt. Yeah, dude. but you've got a guarantee of my leg's oh, gonna be fine. Yeah, we'll have a doctor on standby, and we'll shoot you in a muscly part where there's no arteries. Oh, yeah, God. I'll still do it. Okay, and there you go. That'd yeah. be a good video. We'd appreciate and then if you we'll contributed. Go on that, oh, yeah, that is gonna have to be a website. Yeah, well, we could do that just. Well, they'll shoot the you while you're on the roller coaster trying to hit your leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anyway, that's crazy shit, man. Let's getting de getting down with the brown, everyone. Man, I like that. See? Even some water slides used to scare me. I, I conquered water slides. That's but enough. You don't need to make yourself sound fucking, worse. They're made for kids. Just the big speed one. No, they're not. Now I can do it. I'm a bit better now. Sometimes on water slides, the the um the feeling that they have there when you go over them, it hurts. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm, I, I, I'm scared of getting stuck in one. Oh, man. I just <laughs> thought about just, yeah. what happened at Dreamworld with the conveyor belt. Yeah, so funny, eh? Oh, dude. <laughs> what about at Wet n Wild? Remember when we went there and then people kept getting stuck on that loop to loop? Yeah, but then there's a little door that opens up. Yeah, still, them. that's scary shit, man. Yeah. Happen all the time, every second ride, because they when? weren't heavy enough to go through the loop, loop. So they get trapped at the top and then roll back down and stay there. Uh, Would you skydive for $30? Yeah, that freaks me out too. Greg did that. But um, yeah. I Greg don't know. Brown went dive. Yep, he skydived. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of got forced into it, I reckon. But did you? He did, did it. Oh, man. Not we for need me, though. Did that inspire it's you? not for me. Were you. Was it you got scared of skydiving? Yeah, it's not for me. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. It's I'd probably not... bungee jump over skydiving. Me too. I'm like, maybe like, you know, they strap you into a thing and they just drop you off the side of the cliff and you just swing, rope swing. Oh man, some of those are fucked. Yeah, but I could do that over fucking skydiving. For when we get to 3.2 five star reviews on Spotify. 3.25? <laughs> three, <laughs> yeah. Well, look, 3.2. <laughs> fucking nothing. <laughs> Well, look, it's like a hundred away. It could be four or something. Would you go call your father and tell you that you want to go skydiving with him? But then at the end of the call, you go, go, Dad, I was lying. And I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell your dad that you're gay but tell him it's a joke? No. <laughs> oh, please. Dad, I think it. I'm gay. No. Okay, well, could you tell him about this? He'd be like, Shut you're up. dead to me. And then hang <laughs> up. What about this? Could you go skydiving with him? 
And then I'm not going to do skydiving. No, but you tell him it's a lie at the end of the call. Once we get to 3.2 K on Spotify, give us a five star review. <laughs> That's boring. No, dude, I would love to would hear love you to have hear to try too. and convince just your dad. Like, he'd be like, oh, 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 you want to go golfing, son? <laughs> like, That's just what he'll say. Please. Could we? That would be so fun. <laughs> no. oh. Give me something better than that. <laughs> All right. You have to call your mom and tell her that you're gay. She'll just laugh. She knows that's wrong. Or could you call your mom and say you're going to be a dad? <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't think I can do that because that's believable. Do you know, actually, <laughs> I, I sent a message to dad and, and my stepmom going, oh, I've got something to tell you guys. Can't remember what it was. It wasn't that crazy. And they thought I was like, they thought I, um, I was going to have a child. What about this, right? We get and to like three the panic point- and the excitement, they wouldn't stop texting me going, when are you calling us? When are you coming over? All right. You, we get to 3.2K likes uh five star reviews on spotify you'd send one text to your mum. So you say hey i'm having a party this weekend i'd love for you guys to come <laughs> yeah you text your mum that and then what <laughs> and then after that like we'll see what she responds and you can tell her it's a joke or that you <laughs> send it to the wrong like, oh, send it to the wrong person no, mum will just be like oh i just have to check if i'm free <laughs> but you tell her that your dad's gonna be there too she'll be like oh i have to check if i'm free <laughs> okay well, Food for thought. That's I would love to get to 3.2K. That's our next goal. What are we at? 3.1K. <laughs> That's nothing. That's still big. you got to celebrate the small wins. We're about to hit one mil on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, we should be at one mil. Yeah, what's, is there going to be a one mil video? Or yeah, what are you prob- guys going to do for one mil? We probably should, eh? We should do the tick over and then celebrate with party poppers. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and have a cake. Do you remember when oh. we got to 10,000? How exciting that was. Yeah, you guys had the party at 10,000. I remember? don't remember that. I remember getting to 10,000. You had the party in the garage at 10,000. That was disgusting. Yeah. No, it's a million and we don't really give a fuck. It's because YouTube, like, they, we didn't get the 100K plaque and we're probably not going to get the million K plaque Yeah, what's either. up with that? Yeah, we're just, not allowed. It's because we've had so many videos removed. But, like, I swear to God, other people have too and still get the plaques. Yeah, even uh, Butsman got it and he's had plenty removed. Yeah, so I don't really understand that. But anyway, that we don't get the 100K. Or Sorry, the million we'll get plaque. it for the podcast when we hit 100K. Yeah. If we can convince the million to like the podcast channel and get it to 100K, we can get a plaque. Man, that would be cool. Yeah, it'd be nice to have some awards. Yeah, we haven't got any trophies. Any, we haven't gotten trophies for so long. What have, What are we going to do for 100K if we hit that on the podcast? I reckon we stick each other off and put it on the hands. How many trophies <laughs> do you think you have from when you were a kid? Who's got the most? I reckon me oh, and Oh, you guys, you guys have way How many more. do you have, Brown? One's all participation. Bullshit. <laughs> what? <laughs> participation. You only got participation <laughs> trophies? No, nah, I, 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 um, I used to dominate high jump and long jump. For have you got over years. 10 trophies? Yeah. Let's bring our trophies in next week. I don't know if I even have yeah, I think So you lied, out. so you don't have any. All right, no, look, no. here we go. Where Let's, are your, you next kept week, your trophies? Oh yeah, they're in a box somewhere. You, oh, yeah, see, I, I held on to them for ages and I think I gave up. In the Let's end. find the number out of I'll call my mom and ask her how many. I'll get her to message it so it's believable. And, and you I'll, call, count. I'll take some footage of me counting it. You have to get, we have to see how many trophies Brown got as a kid. I don't know if I've got any. So Matt, I reckon I got like, yours potentially could be zero. I'm going to say I got like 25. Do you count I'd, the ribbons? I'd say I've got like school. 40. Do you count the ribbons like the first Fuck, place ribbons? Got like 30. Um, no, 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 ribbons are stupid. But athletics is Only trophies. Yeah, you don't. That's dumb. Oh, I'm sorry. I did a lot of athletics. That's, so no, you ribbons. didn't. So you've I kept did. onto your ribbons? All right. No, I'm we'll just put, saying. We'll put ribbons in as well. Yeah, we'll do that as well. <laughs> All right, cool. I got a lot of ribbons, man. Fuck, I hope <laughs> I've still got my ribbons. I got so many ribbons, bro. I always came second For what cross sports? country. Cross country, okay. Never well, got everything. first. For everything. Really? <laughs> I was... Yeah. Fuck, man, I can't wait to see who's got the most trophies. I don't think, I don't, I don't know how I'm going to do that, but. We have to man. do that. We have I, to I that. think you guys love more than me. You guys did, you guys did tennis. Can, one, who's got, got your trophies? Who's, who's got your trophies? I don't think I have them anymore. <laughs> what do you mean? Everyone, every, a good mom keeps their son's trophies. <laughs> what, no, nah. my mom, I, held, I have my I own had trophies. Mine. Oh, I had my mum's f- looking after him for me cleaning them. <laughs> oh, yuck, she would. Your mum's so lovely. <laughs> no, I had mine in a box like for ages and I got sick of lugging them around. So I think, I'm pretty sure I. Dumped Dude, them. that's oh, you need to look for them. That's yeah, important. That's, you can't actually, get out of this. I'd love to know actually how okay. many different sports you had trophies for. That'll be interesting. If you can't find the number, okay, change the subject. We call your mum and we find out what she reckons how many trophies you got as a kid. Yeah, I, I can do that. If you can't find the number, <laughs> yeah, our I dad would, l- would probably be better. Okay. Well, what did you get trophies in? 
Um, do they call it chess math club? No, I'm not smart. Um, they call it so in Victoria. They call it surf lifesaving, but they call it nippers up here, don't they? Oh, yeah. swimming. Um, so that I had heaps of athletics. Okay, I had years of athletics. I have soccer. I had baseball. Oh, true. You're gonna have a few um, if you did any sport. But there, but did you ever win a tournament and get a trophy? Yeah, I had a season of AFL. I did an athletics competition once where I came first. It was where you do heaps of events and you oh. get points set for every event that you do. Look, it could be close then. There's no way. I wonder who's gonna win. Anywhere near that many trophies. The fucking dad was fucking hilarious when I got the first place because he was like, "Oh, didn't expect that." <laughs> Well, there you go. Right. <laughs> Fucking, we'll Dominated. see next week. I wonder who will have more out of us. I think I will. Did you ever do high jump or anything, you guys? Because you guys are tall. And... I didn't really do athletics. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I did. Got... I did athletics. But yeah. like only the one once a year at school, and they just gave you ribbons. Like, I, yeah. Well, yeah, once a year, but then you if because I grew up in Toowoomba. Once you make Darling Downs, you go to another. Yeah, you go to South so Coast. You're doing sort of shit. doing athletic carnivals all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. See where you might have more than me. Hundred percent, I will. And I did club athletics too. So. This is going to be yeah. There you go. We have to find out. Mm. What else? What other sports? Comment below who you think will have the most trophies and how many you think Matt has because I feel basketball? like he says he's got four. I reckon he's got one or two. And he's, they were no. so but insignificant you, that he's lost them. You get a trophy when you do a season of soccer, yeah, yeah, a season of, like, yeah. he'll just like, get, he'll get free ones for just being yeah, there. Yeah. But just yeah, those yeah. sports that I've named, I've literally got, yeah, like the, because you're there. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's so lame. A but trophy got, for being there. Then I've got the one. You're one. here. <laughs> trophy. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, kids cry. Uh, anyway. Sorry. Next week we figure out how many trophies we each have, everybody. All right. How many trophies do you think Matt has, James? Hey. Three. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> but participation ones, like he'd probably have heaps. I've realized oh, it's okay. gonna be I did sports all the way up till I was fourteen, I think. So Yeah, see there'll be a few there. <laughs> yeah, twenty two's fair. I'm gonna go that I have fifty now. I'm gonna go big. Oh yeah, I've got a great one for you. Dad used to <laughs> I can't look at this. Dad used to have a f- load of trophies, like shit loads, big and small and plaques and all this shit. And I was like, and for years I was just obsessed with like how he had all these trophies. And then I f- when I got a bit older, I found out they're all from 10 pin bowling. Oh, oh, dude, you don't want your dad to have heaps of 10 pin yeah. bowling trophies. He's got a few golf ones now from his, because he does a That's golf cool. tournament all the time now. Is he good at bowling? Uh, he was all right. Yeah, actually I should bring him against you. Because no. I mean, be pretty good. But he used to have his own ball and shoes. And so when we were young, we'd go to the 10-pin bowling and he'd pull out his, his bag with his ball on it and walk up. I think he's still got his ball probably. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to do the P.O. box this week because we have a uh, gift box. And we know that you guys love watching us eat and gorge at whatever's in these. It's our favorite segment. It's P.O. box time. And if you want to send us something, we open everything live on the podcast. It's P.O. box... 256 five. Tagum 4018 Queensland Australia send us some weird shit please send us some weird please shit be food. I love skipping over yeah, to the box be food. Be every, every Monday morning I've got the munchies come on open it up let's All see right, this is from Toowoomba Toowoomba and her name's Jess thank you Jess thank you Jess that's a good sign yeah. she's female she may have sent us food are you saying that females are always have something is to there do any with cutting food? devices no, no, over I'm here? saying that like most of our male fans have never are there sent any cutting food. devices near you no, uh, yep. Oh, that's not a cutting device. But <laughs> at least you tried, man. At least you gave it some effort. I'll give you a participation. Thank you. <laughs> he, took, he took it. He took the pen. It's not a knife, he man. Took the pen. <laughs> oh, please, please be chocolate. No, I don't think it oh is. Oh, my God. What? Is it the finger? Oh, my God. Yeah, that someone's sending us their. F- Finger oh everyone. my god, boys. It's about to yes. get fucking real. Yes. It's about to yes. get real. Yes, everyone. Yes, oh. everyone. Oh, oh my, my god. god. My favorite. Oh, Holy oh, shit. Yeah. 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 You guys love watching us go. It's all oh, fucking god. boys. This oh. is oh. Oh, there's a letter. Mm. Marty, Michael, and Brown. Mm. Mm. Oh, Jess, you fucking know mm. us. Mm. If how did you know this? Mm. Incredible. Mm. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, we love getting fed. <laughs> this is the best, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's some stuff to get through here, so let's work hard, okay? Mm-hmm. To Marty, Michael, and Brown, firstly, congrats on the win on the weekend, which I think she meant the boxing. We're champions. My fiance is a massive fan of you guys and has introduced me to your podcast. I bloody love the prank calls. Margaret is definitely my fave. We are getting married this year about three hours from Toowoomba where we live. So our trips back and forth have been filled listening to you guys. I guess I should say thank you for making my partner even more annoying. Didn't think that was possible. He has brought your podcast into everyday life. He especially now loves lying about anything <laughs> for everything to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I love what it. we've done to be. We've just turned everyone into liars. Okay. Now, he he doesn't know I'm writing to you. Oh, okay. Oh. So, guys, so would love if you could unbox on the podcast and maybe even give him a follow he would have a massive fangirl moment she's given his instagram account what is it uh tom burns 2010 tom burns 2010 t-o-m-b-u-r-n-s 2010 (laughs) followed no followed <laughs> All right, more. I've included a few little treats for you guys. Please mm. make sure to share with the brown. Oh, we she love is treats. Yes. We love our now, treats. Now she's also added something else here. It looks like she's invited you to their wedding. Oh my god. Oh right, now, look, I've just come up with something. Thank you so much for this. Can we come to the wedding and vlog it? We'll have to ask Tom. I'm ready. I had too many then. I gotta vomit. <laughs> I got to vomit. <laughs> yeah, I'll be vomiting after. You're bulimic. Are you really going to vomit? I think it's the right thing to do, eh, dude. Oh, dude, don't do that. Hang on, there's a, there's a bucket just there. <laughs> See the white bucket? I can't handle that being all in me. Go to the white bucket! <laughs> He's not going to do it. He's going to vomit on the floor. I'm going to vomit on the floor cake mix. Yeah, it's going to be... Oh, my God. This is disgusting. Well, at least it's be this nice. This is not human. You can taste it twice, dude. Why can't you just take your headphones off and vomit in the bucket? <laughs> He's doing this on purpose. Yeah, fun. <laughs> <laughs> he laughed. He laughed a bit. <laughs> That's fucked up. What's that disease you get when you, when you make yourself sound on heaps? Should we do the same, Matt? I had so many of them. I had literally the whole... Ah! Do you feel better? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> should grab some water. Oh, fuck. It's myself. Oh, in your chair. <laughs> oh, my God. That was shockingly cold. Yeah. Holy fuck. Oh. <laughs> it's so you just storm out to get that water. <laughs> well, I was actually, I was really actually getting it for him. Do you want to drink some water? Dude, I had the bucket there. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Fuck, I misread that completely. I thought you wanted some water. All right, it's prank call time. Hit I didn't brown. have the bucket there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do we have a, the, um, the sail? <laughs> I'm so cold and sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I just flew in. It's going to be so shocking to watch that. It's prank call time, everyone. Right here, I have a bookable site number. It's just a random patch of grass in Moreton Bay. Uh, yeah, so I was walking with uh, my girlfriend. We're on my Sunday walks. And, um, yeah, basically I, um, I, was, I came around a corner and there was a sign there on the grass that said, Bookable, what did it say? Bookable site. A bookable site. So we're going to try and book that site. Thank yeah. you for calling City of Morton Bay. Thank you for waiting. You're speaking with Hillary. How can I help? Hello, hello, Hillary. My name's Rhonda, and I've recently walked past one of your bookable sites just in Scarborough, just on the water there. Oh, okay. And I was just inquiring. Okay, how much to hire at the site for just one evening? Okay, 
to hire the, was it a hall, did you say? It's just a block of land, darling. It's just like a block of land on the water. Oh, a block, block of land on the water. That's correct. Oh, excuse me. No, that's okay. Um... Oh, jeez, excuse me. <laughs> all right. All right. So you're um, just looking at having, um, I guess, an event one night there, or what are you? That's that's um, correct. So it's my fiftieth birthday coming up next month, oh, and I was just oh, hoping yeah. to get the girls and close family and friends to come yeah. together and have a place where we can all kind of mingle, okay, and maybe serve some drinks and such, and then from there we can go onwards to dinner. Yeah, okay. Let me just have a quick look at that one for you. Are you okay to hold? Yeah, no, okay? no worries, darling. Thank you. It won't be long. Thank you. Thanks so much for holding. That's okay, darling. So generally if the um, event is going to be is going to have less than 50 attendees. You don't need to get approval okay. for a small small gathering at all. Um, I'm just seeing what else you may need. Because obviously we can't... Um, and oh. also that we can't reserve that for you either just because that is a small event. Um, do you know how many people are going? Off the top of my head, darling, it could be up, up to 50 people. Uh, I just, oh, yeah, it's, I've got quite a large family, darling. So it could yeah, it okay. could be quite a lot, but I don't know if they can all come. So it might be just under fifty. Chris, you know Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, he's doesn't. he's actually actually one of my family extended family, so he could be coming as well. So it could oh be gosh. could be quite quite me? not <laughs> darling. I swear to God, okay? I can send you a picture of me oh, with Chris. Because no one ever believes me, but Chris Hemsworth is actually one of my cousins. Wow, you'll have to let me know what day, <laughs> and I'll come. I will, darling. It's next month, okay? But don't tell too many people, because <laughs> then the media will arrive and ruin the whole time. Do you know what I mean, Ru darling? Ruin your birthday. Exactly right. Sometimes it's nice to have something about me for a change. Do you know what I mean? I can oh, of course, I can imagine, especially if you have a famous cousin. Exactly right, darling. Yeah, well, okay, well, if it's going to be more than 50 um, people, you do need to um, have approval for that. So what I will get you to do is, um, do you have access to a computer or even your, a mobile phone that you can just have a look on our website here? My, my husband will have a computer. I don't use computer. I can use a phone, but I don't use computers as such. But okay. I can get access via my yeah. husband's computer. He's just, uh, he's not here at the moment. He's such a pig recently, to be honest. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, so am I. Mm. So, well, I can Oh, sorry. I can't get access to a computer if you need it, darling, but not right now, not in front of me. How much does it cost for four hours of hire? I'm just going to have a quick look. So mm. there is an application that um, you will need to fill out if it's more than 50 people. So I can, uh, I can make it... Look, why don't I invite maybe 45 people? You can still come if you want. But okay, I'll do okay. 45, it's just so we're under the threshold and we won't need to get the approval. How's that? Yeah, well, it's completely up to you. If it's less than 50, you don't need to um, have approval from council. Okay. I'm just seeing if there's anything else that you um, need to do, though. Okay. So you don't need to have approval, but... Um, <laughs> Excuse me. I'm just having a read through. Mm, yeah, you have a read, darling. My uncle is studying to do lawyer, so 
Maybe he can help with the approval process. What was that? Sorry. My uncle, okay, he's studying to do lawyer, so maybe he can help with the paperwork as such. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Um, just seeing if there's anything at all. Quite a a clever man. He's quite a clever man. Oh, that's good. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Are you okay if I just place you back on a quick hold? Is that okay? Yes, darling, I'll just have a sip of my shiraz. I'll be waiting here. All right, thank you. Thank you, darling. Thanks for holding. That's okay, darling. So, um, there isn't anything that you need to do if it's less than 50 people. Okay, you don't need to go great. to... Well, that's great yeah. news. Okay, that's great. So we can just book it in, no paperwork, and we can arrive on the day. Is that yeah, cr- correct? correct? That's what, correct, yeah. Are we allowed to bring the the uh, the toilets, like you know, the the, uh, the outdoor toilets? Can you hire them and place them in the park? Like Portaloo? That's, that's the one, yeah. Mm, I think you may need... If Portaloo's come into place, I think that would be... You might need a permit for them. Okay. Because, was, you know, as we, if we're there for four hours, someone may need to do a shit, and if there's no <laughs> toilets available, they can't just sh- shit in the park. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, I, I can have a look to see if there is toilets oh in the park. Can you, can you imagine yeah. if someone did a shit in the park? That would be... <laughs> so embarrassing, especially in front of Chris Hemsworth. If my family were doing sh- shits in front of him, <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me quickly look. Let me just quickly look to see if um, there are toilets there because I'm having a look at the um, <laughs> park now for you. I can, I can bring a bucket. And I like, put a sheet, sheet up, worst case scenario, <laughs> and people could just maybe shit in the bucket. I don't, I don't think, I think that if a police saw that <laughs> going past, they uh, may, no, the, they uh, may okay. get in trouble, that's all. Yeah, okay. um, I understand. I'm just trying to find to see if that, generally my system will say if it has, um, Toilets in this area. What about wine, darling? Are we allowed to drink wine on on the park? We can't really tell you what to do in that way. Like we, that's kind of that's um the police. Okay. If they like, if they see you drinking, you could get in trouble. But we can't um yeah you know, we can't tell you no or yes, unfortunately. Um, so it's up to you. <laughs> okay, my uncle. <laughs> Is starting to do the lawyer, so I'm sure if the police came, he could talk to them about legal issues as such and get the problem solved, darling. So I don't yeah. think that'll be a problem. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. I'm just having a look for... Um, Thank you, yeah. darling. No, that's okay. Did you want me to have a look around the portaloo? Yeah, please. I need somewhere for my family to take a shit. Alright, I'll just place you on a quick hold. Sorry to keep you uh, holding. Uh, hello. Hello. Um, I've just had a further look on the um my map here, and there is actually um a toilet around the corner. Just, that's great, thanks. Can we what about the toilet dates? What was that? Sorry. Uh, just saying if we can book in the time, do the dates for you now. Sorry, I'm just having trouble understanding you there. Excuse, excuse me, I am not that drunk, okay? I've had a few wines with, with girls, but at the end of the come down to relax, darling. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Um, but I'm just saying that at the park there, Tindera Park... Um, There's a toilet. There's a toilet there. Around the corner at another park, Pe- there's the Pe- toilet. People can use the toilet for the shits. Yeah. Okay. 
is perfect. What's the problem? No, nothing. I'm just saying that there is a... Excuse me, Dolly. You're being very, very rude, Dolly. Okay? I was just trying to book it to the park. Okay? <laughs> Get, give you guys business. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I've helped you so far. So, I'm, is there the, anything else the, I can do for you? No, ra raise your voice, Dolly. Okay? <laughs> I'm just trying. All right. Well, I'll let you go so you can enjoy your afternoon. It's so rude, darling. You wait till I tell my uncle. Okay, he's studying to do lawyer, darling. So you be getting a letter from my uncle. Okay. All right. Well, I hope you have a good afternoon. Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> <laughs> what an ending! Oh, dude. Dude. I knew that ending. was going to be risky because I was just going to be like, "Yeah, she it's was okay. so lovely, dude." She yeah. deserves a medal. Oh my god! Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, five star review, and we'll fucking see you guys next week. We're the best, 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 best